regrets. I'm blessed to say the old me dead and gone away. Hey guys, welcome and thank you for being here. Before the live starts, I want to jump in here and say that there is a coupon code that I am promoting for anybody that had watched the live, but I want to extend this code to all of my YouTube viewers as well. So it's 15% off of all of my one-on-one -on -one coaching services. The code is in the video. If you want to screenshot it or come back to this video at any time, you get a one use per person. Uh, chance to use this code all right so i just wanted to throw that out there because i did say in the live it's for uh the duration of the live but again i'm extending it so then my youtube followers can have a chance to work with me as well with a 15 percent off coupon all right so just want to throw that in there i hope that you guys enjoy the live and celebrate the success of my client and know that you are next um all right so my client's ready so i'm going to give her a call and we're going to begin this Sound good? Speaker. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. All right. So I'm already live. I'm going to make sure that everybody can hear you. Um, yeah. And then we can begin. Can oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Hello. Um, Can you guys hear her? Is everything sound good? I got her close to the mic, so you should be good, but I just want to make sure. Um... Oh, good. All right. Yes. Okay. Hello. All right. So, um, how how we can do this is I kind of gave a little bit of a rundown to everybody of, you know, the topics that we're going to yeah. be discussing, but I'm going to let you just take the floor, whatever you feel most comfortable sharing. You don't have to get, you know, into the, the gruesome parts if you don't feel comfortable doing so. Um, but, you know, just, just start off with, you know, where you were before we started working together and um <laughs> if, if, yeah i know i know but um you know where you were when we first started working together what you were trying to manifest and kind of like the little bit of a background and then you know the the middle of the journey and the ups and the downs and then like where you are now all right so i'll let you take the floor uh hi uh first of all i really appreciate uh, uh laying your coaching and your teaching and it helped a lot and yeah, I've been trying to manifest my, um, you know, peace and uh, you know, SP and um, romantic relationship, you know, successful relationship, all those things, and many, many years. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, so I was, I was getting help from so many people, like I was going through like several co coaches and therapies and all the things and yeah I found a lane on YouTube and I kind of like it so I started getting a coach from her and uh, she gave me a sub a sub uh, audio that that worked a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> at the beginning I felt like wow what is this like I start feeling uh, heaviness in my chest and I start feeling uncomfortableness but uh, you're there laying you're there every single day and uh, and help me to go through and then I think that touched a subconscious mind so yeah that was the starting right? <laughs> uh, I think it was two months ago <laughs> I think mm -hmm. and yeah um, I, I would like to say that this is really um journey it's not like uh things happening and overnight it's every single day is a progress and it's a journey so i'm still i'm still changing every single day yep so you, you know better <laughs> you know <more. laughs> yeah um all right so you were manifesting a specific person. You were going to coach, 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 not getting the help that you needed. You signed up to work with me about two months ago. We did, um, you know, it was all through texting. I think we had one phone call, if I recall right. And then the rest was all texting every day, checking in with me. You know, when you're having a bad moment, me, you know, keeping me, keeping you on track and, um, you know, re-centering re you. 
Um, you also struggled with anxiety, right? So if you want to dive into, you know, just that heaviness feeling that you were explaining and like the, the, the panic attacks and, and anxiety that you were waking up with every single day, we can go into that as well, like your feeling state. Yeah, I wanted to really say that I didn't know. I thought that feelings are uh, it's because of uh, SP, the feelings of rejection. Maybe he said something, he did something, people said something. That's why I, I was not feeling well. But no, it wasn't. I think it, I didn't know. But that was anxiety that I had. And that was like panic attack, anxiety attack. I had it in me, or in my system. So subnivno really help to touch that part and now I see that it's kind of separate um, so I was obsessed with the relationship and SP and I thought that all my negative feelings or anxiety is because of that because of the, my bad relationship but I, I don't know I no, it's not. Anxiety had to be, I think, had to be dealt with separately. So subnibno help a lot, and also laying your there every single day, and then you just are there like. And um, I think you know I have like childhood trauma, yeah, <laughs> everything, and yeah, my self concept was not really pretty back then, and your consistency and your like. It there for me every single day that really really make me feel like oh my god I'm worthy you know um, she loves me <laughs> she's there for me <laughs> so uh, I was looking for like those kind of love consistency and uh, you know uh, unconditional support from Aspie or boyfriend whatever but I was wrong I that was my obsession and and it's because of that, <laughs> because of, uh, of my bad relationship. So I get to work with coaches and I get to work with Lane and I found my worthy and my worth and my value and I'm the person who, who, who deserves to be loved uh, from my coaches and Lane <laughs> and myself. And I got to see what's, or what's going on in me that I think that really helped me to you know, okay. kind of move on to the new self-concept. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. And what I kind of showed you, I guess, with coaching is, like, you kind of touched on this, is that you are, you know, loved and supported, even by a stranger. Like, just a coach being there for you and just listening to you. That's all that you wanted. So I, I was able to kind of show you that you could, you know, have these things and you don't need them from SP. And, and train you to get these from yourself, but at first you were needing it from me. You know, just that support yeah. to know that you were even capable of having it or being shown that you could have that. Um, and then once, you know, you were getting it from me, you kind of understood like, oh, okay, if I can get it from a stranger, then I can give it to myself and teach myself how to do it um, based off of like the things that, you know, Lane is saying and how she's supporting me. It kind of showed you and trained you how to support yourself. Is, is that correct? Yeah, that's so correct, yeah. And I started seeing the people around me, really, really, they care about me, they love me, they want me. I remember one of those days, I said, hey, somebody just called me and she want me to be there for her birthday party. Mm -hmm. And then I never thought that that was, that was the thing that, you know, I, I'm, I never, I, I mean, that I felt different this time. Oh, she really wants me, she really loves me as a friend. And I'll say, I'm sure that many people invite me for their birthday party even before, like, 10, you know, five months ago or two years ago. But I never felt that way. I think I said I never felt that way, but I didn't feel I'm worthy to be invited or uh, to the, somebody's birthday party. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel that love. But now I start feeling that, wow, they care about me, they love me. And I could really enjoy the moment, the little thing. And that, that changed a lot. And then, yeah, I share with you, right? <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Well, because yeah. I had you start focusing on gratitude and appreciating, you know, these little things and pointing that out and having the positive self-talk and, you know, self-love too. You know, I had you doing the affirmations of saying the things that you love about yourself, even if currently you didn't. 
you began to, along with listening to the subliminals that were personalized to your, um, you know, situation. Um, that's why you had such a, a major transformation because not only are you, you know, reprogramming at night, but you're also telling a different story throughout the day and focusing on all of these little things that you would think aren't that big, but actually they are. And you start appreciating like even just being invited to a birthday party, just even being complimented, even if it's something small. Um, and that's what you started noticing is your self-concept was changing and you were seeing changes in people around you. Now, what I want to get into is with your specific person, you started off where he had, you know, other ladies in his life. You guys were in a situationship um, and you felt unsafe around him. Even though you have feelings for him, you still felt unsafe um, to, you know, be in a relationship with him, to be around him or felt triggered if you were around him or comparing yourself and bringing up, you know, the third parties, things like that. If you want to go in further on that story and how things have changed and now how you see him and show up around him, especially after your trip, um, if you want to, you know, share that part of the story as well. Yeah, I <clears throat> I had to say that um, whoever listened to this story, I mean this this uh, video, um, it's really about the changing myself. Mm -hmm. It's really about changing myself. I I I heard from lots of coaches that hey, it's not changing SPO, it's not the changing the relationship, changing myself. So I didn't really know what they mean, but now I know. It's really how I feel. Well, it, it's not uh, because at the beginning, it's every single day I was so unsafe. I feel all, so unsafe. I feel so insecure, and I was mad and angry. And either SP with me or not, I was always looking for something that uh, make me believe that he doesn't love me. He didn't love me, and I, I was not enough. I, I was not chosen, and. And all those anxiety, I, I believe that uh, that all those anxiety I had is because of uh, you know SP didn't treat me right way, uh, or I was not good enough to be loved. But it was wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> it's nothing to do with him, or nothing to do with relationship. Nothing to do with what he said, what he does. Um, yeah, I was really start focusing on my feelings myself and. I was realizing that I didn't believe love and I didn't even know that love exists and I didn't even know that how to feel love and how to feel being loved. So I was really listening to you and every single day, you know, I was like up and down. So yeah, but now uh, I have no no anxiety or I don't feel any any uh, I don't feel insecure or I don't feel unsafe uh, by myself either he's about me or not and now I mean that I mean I'm more like a, every single day I'm coming back to myself and finding love in me so yes, we had a trip, and he tripped me all my trips, and he was happy, and yeah, um, I can see that he was always capable of showing his love to me, and he was capable of loving me, choosing me. I was the one who couldn't feel that way, mm -hmm. and I don't blame myself, or I'm, I don't blame him. It's all that, <laughs> that's a journey. I start from like childhood trauma and you know all the stories. You know, I didn't believe men and my dad cheated on my mom and all the things. So I had to go through that. I I'm just really appreciate my SP, the one be there at this moment while I'm transforming myself. So it's I really want to share it. Like really, really nothing to do with him. Nothing to do with SP. No. Yeah, I, I know I I start with the relationship problem, but now I know that they, this is a, such a blessing. Then you know every single day, I'm I'm happy. And yeah, another thing is that uh, finally I start uh, committing to myself. <laughs> exactly. So I, I yeah. So 
that commitment, I was looking for the commitment from outside. Mm-hmm. Especially, I was com- looking for the commitment from my SP, but I, I myself have a hard time to commit to myself. Mm-hmm. Even my workplace, my church, you know, all the things, even with my pet, how, how committed uh, am I to my life? And I start seeing that and I start making <laughs> decisions. I start making commitment in my life. So, yeah. And I had you start doing um, like inner conversations because there was times where you're like, Lane, I just want to reach out to him, just give him a good morning text, whatever. Uh, And I would tell you, no, go within, give it to yourself. What do you need from him right now that you're trying to get from him? Um, but you're actually needing it within yourself. And that's what you did. You went within, you gave yourself, you know, the conversations that you needed or the love and the attention that you needed. And that was another, you know, big eye opener moment for you to where you realized like, oh shit, I wasn't even needing it from him. I didn't even want it from him. I was actually, it was my inner child or my inner self needing it from me. And that's what you meant by like committing to yourself and loving yourself. It's going within and giving yourself what you need instead of trying to get it from the people around you, correct? That's so correct. In a, uh, you know, in a conversation and in a talk with myself was not easy at all. People out there listening to us, my story, believe me, it's not easy. So don't, don't give up. It's not easy. It sounds weird. And then when I, start, um, I when I started having an inner conversation, my mind goes right into the SB and right, in, right back to the past. And I start getting angry. I like I got triggered a lot by my own inner talk. But keep doing it. <laughs> keep doing it. Even if you couldn't control yourself, and then and then reach out to SP and got you know shitty uh, response, and then you go through uh, hell, and then you got triggered again, triggered more. That's okay. All worth it. Mm-hmm. Just go through it. Just go back to yourself, and and that's what I experienced. Like. So many in a conversation went down to the drain, <laughs> but uh, you always say that just going on, going on. Okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it. So I would say like nine out of ten time I fail, but those one out of ten time, the one time that make me get out of that. So I know when I was like really, really going through hell. Whenever I listen to those, those success stories like amazing like oh my god she done in two weeks oh my god he done it in a, in a month oh i can't do it <laughs> but i think most of us it's it's not like the you know like crazy amazing such a story that's the reason why i wanted to share my story i don't i can't you know like i'm not like engaged to my ass or uh oh like not that kind of like fancy success story but deep inside I know I have changed a lot and I know I'm completely feeling different and now I have a different purpose in my life I know I'm I, I know I'm different mm-hmm. I feel like it's the like, first time in my whole life I'm not like 50 something exactly the first time in my whole life now I have to leave I'm going to leave my life every single day Exactly. That is very. That is amazing. Yes. Yes. So and, and don't don't sell yourself yeah. short on your <laughs> success because you have done a major transformation just in your perspective. Yeah. Like you're not reaching out to us, but you're not needy. You're not feeling unsafe or um, questioning if you're even worth it. Questioning, you know, why you know this is happening to you. Like you have taken a complete 180. You are a completely different woman than when we first started working together. Um, so don't, don't take your success away from yourself because it's not a full engagement or anything like that. Again, you just went on a trip with your SP around his family and had an amazing time. You didn't react to anything. You you had a good time. You felt safe. You were comfortable around him and things were as if you guys were already, you know, engaged or already on that path. Like you are on the bridge and allowing it to, to unfold. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We had a trip uh, together, and it was amazing because I, I, I haven't felt any 
that I haven't felt any insecure or no anxiety. I didn't feel unsafe. It was like so comfortable, so safe. Mm -hmm. It's like so natural. So I really love that and you know, amazing experience. You know? Exactly, exactly. And now I have a, this perspective. Like if I enjoy this moment, I believe everybody enjoys it. Exactly. There's no doubt at all. Exactly. Yeah. You're just being no, present no, no. and just enjoying it. And that's what you need to do to be able to manifest anything. We're manifesting from the, our present selves, not our future selves, not our past selves, from each present moment. So that's why everyone's having a good time around you. I also want to get into, before we run out of time, get into uh, the change in your coworkers and your, your work style. Um, so if you want to dive into that and how everyone, your perspective of them have changed and their perspective of you has changed, if you want to dive into that. Yeah, I actually, um, I see my coworkers, like I do the business and I have a lot of business associates and, and business partners and I could see them going through their own, the, uh, own problems and I, could, I don't take, I don't feel any unsafe around them and I don't feel uncomfortable at all. I used to feel like I, you know, I took it personally. <laughs> so I used to have a little problem here and there, and then we called it. Oh, yeah, this is business, and it's a work. No. Um, some people don't like me. Some people like me, and all those stories. But now, no, that's all bullshit. You know, mm -hmm. no, everybody loves me <laughs> because I understand them. I see them with the compassionate eyes. Yes. Because now I see my 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 thing in me you know i think the moment i see myself that's the moment i feel love and then that's the moment i can see others with the eyes of love and and i learned to not be shy accepting any any kind of feeling that i have even if i feel like oh i feel so bad i feel like i'm stupid like just accept it accept it and then just watch and then just move on to next and then and and then and, and I can see others oh they now they feel like they're not worthy and they're not they maybe they feel insecure so I don't need to react I don't, I don't need to I don't get triggered yeah I think it's not only as it's everybody around me even when I watch movie or something you know, I don't get really personally engaged. So, I mean, I don't get really emotionally get triggered by it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it's having, oh, having control and like having that understanding of accepting that everything is a creation of you it doesn't matter if it's on tv it doesn't matter if it is you know co-workers or sp everyone is you and like you said it's looking at everyone in a compassionate loving way understanding that you're actually looking at yourself so it's not accusing them or blaming them for being the bad guy you're actually looking at them differently and then they are showing up differently because you understand they are you so if you see them differently, they can show up differently. And like they've been um, more accepting of you and you, you're not getting into, you know, little tiffs and fights with them anymore um, or being aggravated from them. Like everybody is very accepting of your ideas and you are accepting of theirs. Yeah, and also you said that um, it's not the trying process. It's not trying. Well, it's not trying. It's just becoming, right? Yes. So I used to try. I should try to understand. I should try not to react, but that was so hard. But that I don't regret. I, that's uh, it's because of uh, all the trial. I learn a lot. So now I know it's not about the trying. It's just being. But we cannot just move. Uh, we can just change. By try, <laughs> I don't. They just change by uh, accepting and go inward, and you know, looking into what's going on in me. Mm -hmm. you know, keep coming back to me. Keep coming back to me. Coming back to me. Coming back to me. Like even if I feel like I want to yell them, I want to get angry at them. It's still okay. Bring myself <laughs> into it. Yeah. Bring it. Bring it. Oh my god! And then yeah. So now it's. Uh, it became a new habit to just come back to me. 
what you're saying is it's as simple as making a decision or a choice to think differently in that moment about your circumstances or about yourself. As simple as making a decision or a choice to think differently in that moment about your circumstances or about yourself. As simple as making a decision or a choice to think differently in that moment about your circumstances or about yourself. Yeah. Yeah, it's that simple? And I have a one tip <laughs> for the people like me. <laughs> okay. If it's really hard to make a decision. information happens is not, not allowing ourselves to attach to these thoughts as if, you know, that's our truth and our only truth. Um, would you say that, that that was a helpful thing once you started observing your thoughts instead of thinking that this is who you oh, are, yeah. you need to change them. You just allowed them to be oh, yeah. and yeah. allowed yourself to be. That's, yeah. And then you told me that, you know, before, because it's a feeling, it's a feeling automatic, right? I feel bad or whatever. Just for example, you know, I checked Instagram, I saw that SPs or third parties, you know, something make me feel like maybe they, you know, they hang out behind me. And then before, when I got triggered, I feel bad and everything. But this time I really ask myself, okay, what does it mean to me? What do I feel? Okay, why did I check the Instagram? What's so important about Instagram? What's it mean by the one simple photographer, you know, um, photography that they took it like, month ago or two weeks ago one year from now it's gonna be one year old photo what's so important i just keep asking myself and wait until i get the answer until then i i really really like hold myself i don't react ask myself okay i want to know why i feel this way and yes wait 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 and sometimes this feeling disappears sometimes really really i get to core and then really really deep inside and what is really going on in me <laughs> and and yeah all this memory comes out i think the subliminal audio really helped me to really touch the what's really deep inside and actually why i was so scared of a, a sp hang out with another woman because my father was having an affair um and i the one knew it my father had another woman but my mom didn't know so I was the one always so like kind of like watching what's going on. I was the one like looking after my mom. Mm -hmm. I was young. So yeah, oh, this is not about SP. This is about myself when I was younger. I got hurt by my parents and I'm, that's still inside of me that's got to come out. And I just appreciate uh, like a situation, I ask it to make me go really deep inside of me. And I'm an adult now, I'm like middle-aged woman. I go down to myself and talk to a teenager myself and you know, make young myself understand what's going on. And even if I don't understand till now, but I can at least be there for myself. And I, I have a you know coach like Lane yourself and I can share with you and I, you know, I kind of find a way to deal with my uh, own trauma and my own past memories, and then that really helped. Mm -hmm. So even I got triggered, that's, that's not bad, you know. That, then, then, boom, I start talking to myself, and I, you know, talk, really, really helped. I mean, but I think that's not just helping, I think that's the must. Yes. You gotta do it. Yes. <laughs> it's a must. Because we're having that inner dialogue anyways. And like what you did, um, you know, with your past self, that's a form of revision. You're sitting there saying, I'm, I'm actually grateful for all of this stuff happening to lead me to this point where I'm going in and I'm giving myself what I need. So like the things that my dad did or the things that SP is doing, I'm actually grateful because now I can recognize the power within. I can change that and choose the programming that I do want. And that right there is a story of revision because now you have a perspective shift of your past that it's actually not a bad thing. You're actually grateful that it happened. And a lot of people look at it like, oh, when I have to do all of this work and you know, my past is haunting me and I'm always coming back and this, there's always skeletons in the closet, whatever. And they're saying these things, but they're looking at their past like it's still who they are. You're looking at your past like, yeah, no, that's who I was, but I'm going to continue 
to you know comfort myself and give myself what I need, knowing that my past made me this better version of myself. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it's it. Like a, yeah, it's like a nod. Uh, I've become better version. I feel like a, I'm finding myself. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, I'm finding myself. All those, you know, memories, all those experience or childhood trauma, whatever, is covering up. So I couldn't feel, I couldn't see who I am. And now I'm like, a, okay, taking off the layers by layers by layers. Mm-hmm. Finally, I get to see myself, and and getting easier and easier because this is who I am. I don't need to watch what I say. I don't need to watch what I do. I don't need to double check what I think. Just ask myself, you know. Um, yeah, just be there, sit there, and watch what I feel, and kind of you know find out what it is. Is this from the past? Oh, is this from true, you know, it's a true self? Mm-hmm. Or is this, you know, is it negative or positive? Just find out what's going on in me. And then then I think it's, it's easier to live life from now. <laughs> yeah, well, because <laughs> you're observing yeah. everything. You're no longer allowing your thoughts or your feelings to control you. You're being disciplined. Ask yourself, like, wait, why am I feeling this? All right, is it from the past? Is it something that I went through? Well, if it is, that's okay. I'll allow myself to feel it because, you know, I'm worth feeling it. But how do I actually want to think? How do I actually want to feel? Is this the story I'm still going to align with? And then if it's not, you make the decision in that moment to go with the story that you do want to align with. And it's it's allowing yourself to, you're, you're being there for yourself, your inner child, it doesn't matter what you call it, that version of you, the old story, whatever it is, you're just being there and being present with it, allowing it to be felt, because that's all it wants to do is just be felt and not suppressed, you're feeling it, and then you're able to move on from it, because now you understood it. Um, so that that's powerful, extremely freaking powerful. So I'm going to ask the audience, guys, if you have any questions, because I know she's got to get going. I told her about a half an hour, um, and it's been a half an hour. So if you guys got any last-minute questions, um, you can ask it to her. Um, she's pretty open to pretty much anything. Um, so if you want to type them down into the chat, and I will read them off for her. Let's see here. Do, 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 give people a second. Yeah, but your story, I mean, the success that you've had, and in, in, in people can say, oh, but it's not two weeks, but it's not a week, whatever. The things that you have gone through and where you are now, is it's no longer, you are not the same woman. And I, I can't, I'm in awe of it because you have done the work um, and, you know, took the bad days and the good days and just ran with it in the information that I gave you and allowed yourself to grow from it instead of continuously being a victim of, oh, but I don't like what Lane's saying. I don't want to do that work and it seems too hard and I'd rather just sit over here and continue to live this life because it's, it just seems too hard to go within. Instead of telling that story, you decided to, you know, take the information that I was giving you and the support I was giving you and run with it and allow yourself to be all in, regardless of how uncomfortable it felt. Um, and that's that's major, That that's what coaching is about, is yeah, it might be uncomfortable, but <laughs> it's doing the work and having that support, knowing that what you're doing is, is working. Um, yeah. All righty. So, One thing though, like I wanna tell everybody, mm-hmm. when you meet the right coach and stick with that person. <laughs> One year, two years, just stick with the person Ex- until you really, really, you know, get out of uh, where you are now because it's really worth it and, you know, never give up and, yeah. Exactly. Fine, <laughs> but it's okay. Exactly. It's okay as long as, you know, if you who you are and you, you find who you are and your true self and... Money and time doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly, you're investing in yourself. So it, it, yeah, people, you know, look at prices. But if it's a coach that really resonates with you, 
then you know go for it because it is an investment in yourself and at worst okay that coach didn't work out it didn't wasn't something that you felt was you know working for you okay now you learned what you don't like when it comes to coaching now you learned what you um, need more of maybe you wanted more support from coaching and you didn't get that all right we'll find a coach that does give that maybe you need a coach that's a little bit more tough love which i give that um but you know, it's just looking at it and from the perspective of, all right, now I know either I want more of this from a coach or I don't want this from a coach or maybe I don't even need coaching at all. And it was just a, uh, an experiment or an um, just a part of the journey. So I, I do agree that you shouldn't be boun bouncing around from coach to coach to coach because every coach has a different perspective and different routine that they're going to give you and you're going to get really freaking confused really quick. Um, uh, and also, because uh, I, I, uh, I had uh, many coaches, but I think uh, try and if it's not working and if you find um, different coach, you're going to move on. But once you feel that this is one, <laughs> stick with that. <laughs> <laughs> you will know. Who's, oh, yeah, you will know. Because uh, I think the first time you gave me a, uh, then you gave me a sub mm -hmm. audio. And few days after I started listening, I, I knew it, something is changing, <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, so, remember one moment, I kind of, okay, I'll do it by myself, and I kind of got some kind of confidence, so I, I can't rain, and I, I try my best myself, and then, boom, but a week after, two weeks after, I stopped with you, and I came back, so I'm like, oh my god, did you? <laughs> so, yeah, I think, try and do whatever you can do and just stick with the person that you really really resonate in. exactly all right so i'm not seeing any questions so we'll end this with out of a zero to ten where did you start when we first started uh coaching zero being a really really low self-concept ten being really high self-concept and now where are you what would you rate yourself me yeah. i start with a zero like a minus 12 <laughs> But now, yeah, I'd say eight, eight oh. or nine. All right. There you go. Yeah. And that was, I mean, we just did yeah. the texting for um, two or two months. Yeah, about two months. Yeah. Um, and you, all I can say is it's not about the coach. It's about the commitment that you make to yourself. And the coach is able to walk you through that. Oh, and and you. you made that commitment. You made the choice that, no, I'm going to do this regardless of, you know, what's going on. It, it, it was you. I, I was there and I got to see everything, but you did the work. And that is what this journey is about, is understanding yourself and what you do need. No coach can, can manifest things for you. It's just kind of holding your hand through it. So um, overall, as a review, could you, you know, give me a review on my coaching for everybody to hear? Um, and then we yeah. can end this. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, because I think it's not about what coach is. Uh, what uh, you know knowledge or you know what do they know I think it's about what in their heart as a lane is I think you're the I think you're the best for me because <laughs> you really there for me every single day and then your coaching style is very very I don't know it's so loving and caring and you're there for me every single day and also your texting you know, uh, text coaching is the best. Oh my God, the best of the best. And, you, and then every single response that I got from you was amazing. And yeah, and then you're consistent and you're persistent and you're really, really caring. And another thing, the price is like, oh, it's super amazing. Because <laughs> I have many coaches out there and they're not as good as you, but they're like charging a lot and I really recommend everybody especially people going through something like myself like have a, you have anxiety issues so you feel anxious every single day I think Lane is the best person oh I appreciate that I appreciate that oh yeah um, all right well unless you have any last minute words I can let you go that way you can get back to your day uh, please people don't give up <laughs> and you will realize that whatever you start from, that's not important. What's gonna 
what we uh, what's going or what's gonna have outcome is really really getting to know myself and uh, and love myself and you know get a new self concept. So you start from SP, you start from money, you start from your parents, you start from neighbor, whatever you start from, and you will all um, eventually meet who you are and then feel love. Like, you know, self love and you know appreciate every single moment of our life and that's that's what it is and love everybody so yeah that's awesome thank you I love it <laughs> all righty well I'm gonna let thank you go you so thank you for being on here we all appreciate it oh my god thank you all right so have a wonderful day and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon Okay, bye. Thank bye. you so much, Lee. Yep, you're welcome. <laughs> so, really appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Alrighty, guys. Now, what do you guys think of that? <laughs> what do you guys think of that? Um, your coaching gave me my life back. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure I didn't miss any questions. I was trying to read the chat while she was talking. If you guys haven't seen already, oh, it's this side. If you guys haven't seen already, 15% off coupon. Uh, it's success, all in caps, um, for the duration of this live, which I'm hopping off because this will be up on YouTube. So for any one of my services, a 15% off coupon, if you'd like to go check that out. Um, this will be repurposed on YouTube. So if you missed any part of this live, I will be uh, reposting on there uh, maybe today, tomorrow, however it downloads. Uh, TikTok's kind of funny about that sometimes. Um, but it will be on there. Thank you guys for being here. You are an ama amazing um, you know, support system. And I hope that this story really inspired you and you have better understanding of what uh, you know, the law of assumption is about, what success looks like in all forms and fashions. Um, that, you know, you're not a failure because you didn't get the full uh, manifestation yet. Um, you know, it's looking at it from a different perspective um, and knowing that you are the change. So I hope that, again, that this inspired you and motivated you to have a better understanding of how important it is to do the inner work and how the inner work changes your reality. Um, if you guys do need any help or further information, my email and everything is linked in my bio. And again, this is going to be on YouTube in the next day or so. But thank you for being here. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for following me and watching and supporting me. You are, are making my dreams happen. So again, guys, I love you and thank you. And you got this. <laughs>